Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and this is one of those sides you typically do not see because well, I'm getting ready to go on, so I'm all, yeah, staying warm and I'm all bundled up because oh, it is cold. Meanwhile, <coughs> that's why she's, out. yeah. That's why I'm doing that. Meanwhile, news still continues, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, and they're about ready to. Can you believe what they did? Well, for now, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. It's all over for the Republicans. Well, it says that everybody is saying that they are going to have to cave into the president's demands because it's the will of the people. The problem is, is that the Republicans that got elected to office are trying to explain to Representative Bonyard and those people that are telling them they have to cave in, is that they were elected not to cave in. If they cave in, what's going to happen to Bonyard? Well, they've already told them they'll start recall elections immediately. Every single Republican that votes to raise taxes is going to get his butt thrown out of office within months. There'll be a recall because I think May is the next time. They'll be gone and there'll be people to take their place. I mean, it's just ridiculous. A, I know. They don't seem to understand it. That Okay, uh, I'm listening to a guy in the military who's, uh, he said he, he was a poker player. He said the President of the United States is the worst poker player he ever saw. He said, you know when he has no cards. Mm -hmm. He doubles down. Yeah, but you know what? It works for him. They because said, look oh, at this stupid Republican. You call his bluff. He has no cards. He has nothing. Because uh, <laughs> if the Republicans do nothing more than but extend the tax hikes for the 80-98% and the country then collapses, whose fault is it? Mm -hmm. It is the most simple thing. I mean, everybody with half a brain including George Bush Jr. says, well, I see nothing wrong with just extending the things for the for the for the 98 percent and just letting the other state as it is you know until the thing comes around which is the simple way because the taxes are really not going to go up they're going to go back to what they were four years ago mm -hmm. on the people that are paying which means they're uh, and that if that drives unemployment up Obama gets blamed for it not mm -hmm. the Republicans this is all on Obama's shoulders and Bonyard basically I mean, Nancy Pelosi would basically, she, she pushes over the cliff just to push us over to she was Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. Democrats always go, Republicans refuse to push the cards. Mm -hmm. And a very different lame duck, lessons from 2010. Yeah, because in 2010 the Democrats pushed through health care. Mm. And they knew that they were. They knew that they lost the house, lost the house totally, and that they lost. Uh, they lost X amount of seats in the Senate, uh, which the Republicans only lost one this time again, folks. Uh, and they decided to go for it and not and just do what they chose to do. Whereas the Republicans in this lame duck session are letting the Democrats roll them. They control the money. No money, I mean, another person said, just cut off the president's fund for going on vacations. You don't think that if he finds he actually has to work, it's going to piss him off and he'll actually do something to get his money back? And drone pilots may need distractions during mind-numbing work. God, yeah, what's mind-numbing? Okay, this is the way it works is, oh God, I think I'm flying an F-17 fighter plane. It's mind-numbing. So I think what I got to do is I have to have a distraction while I'm flying into battle. It's the same thing as the drones, folks. Mm -hmm. When you're flying a drone, it's like you're sitting in the cockpit of the plane. You don't want to have a distraction. You're not listening to rock music. You're not smoking cigars. You've got to watch the thing. And, and for some, okay, the person that wrote that actually has never flown an airplane. Oh. Yep. And football. <laughs> Yeah. Football player was driven to kill himself. Yeah, well, what happened was... And they, and oh, well, actually, his girlfriend outspent yeah, him. They, they were spending, they spent him into, into a disastrous shape, and he just simply couldn't take the... I mean, we saw a movie called Bernie in which the same sort of thing happened. The guy's girlfriend drove him, just drove him crazy. Mm -hmm. He tried to do everything he could, and it just wasn't worth it, so he finally just... Did it. He just snapped. He snapped. People snap, and they're trying to blame it on handgun boy. If he didn't have a handgun, like their Bob Costas is taking flack from even people in the okay, the people in the NFL are unhappy with him. The sports community is unhappy with him. Using halftime to condemn handguns, and they said uh, uh, here's one. I saw a guy last night. One of the uh, one of the commentators on one of the other channels. He said, "Here is the president's backside, Mr. Costa." I'm hoping you know that I'm, I'm, he's waiting for you to come kiss it again for him. 
Well, because that, that was totally inappropriate, and then to use this guy that's basically to the left that actually worked for Fox News, which he won't be working for him much longer. Mm -hmm. But the guy is a left-wing loony working for Fox News in Kansas City, and said if if he hadn't have had the handgun, it wouldn't have happened. I saw a guy last night when they were talking to him. He said, "You mean, young lady, that mm -hmm. I if I don't have a handgun in my hand right now, that I couldn't kill you?" And then the other guy said, oh, don't take him up on that. Uh -huh. Yeah, he said because he can he can break your neck in about five seconds flat, push your nose up into your head, beat the hell out of you. And so, uh, and then they said he's got a chair he can hit you with. They said they uh, wondered how many things was in that room when he killed that, his, his girlfriend that he could have simply picked up in a rage and beat her to death with. Mm -hmm. And he's also like six foot six inches tall and 300 and some pounds. He just snapped her like a twig. Oh, he's that. And big. when a person is, when a person snaps, uh, we we'll use another example. My father was in school. My father went to California Polytechnic when it was a high school, and uh, he, he they had an officer uh, a teacher called Bowie. Bowie was a woodshop teacher, and he snapped. He took a two before and started killing people in the in the in the school with a two before. He didn't have a gun. He just took a two before and beat people to death with it. Mm -hmm. they, they, people get killed all the time with knives, two before, baseball bats, all kinds of things in England. What, guns are a lot easier? Yeah. <laughs> guns are quicker. They're quicker. Judge merges lawsuits against cinema chain in Colorado shootings. I know. It, 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 first of all, you can't sue and begin with because mm -hmm. there was a sign on the very front of the building that said handguns not allowed. And therefore, you know, they, they disavowed any problem. So, uh, it is people have to make money, okay, I think very little of parents trying to make money off the death of their kids. Mm -hmm. that's, that's basically lower than crawling under a rock. And White House cites concerns over Egypt and won't cr criticize Morsi. Yeah, yeah but uh, they, they basically have, they, uh, Obama basically gets snookered by every Muslim in the universe because Mo Obama has this I, my father's a Muslim, and I'm not a, I'm not a Muslim, and I'm not a Christian. I'm in between. I want to be accepted by my father's people. Mm. So basically, he bends over backwards with his Muslim outreach, and it's a disaster because all they do is laugh at him. Mm-hmm. And the chair dog comes in to make certain everything's running well. I know. See, what, see, yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, be a scratch his monkey backside for her. Oh, she liked that. Oh my gosh, she can't even be asked, does it now? <laughs> she wants to do more. <laughs> you know. And Obama will push for immigration, yeah, before the White House says. Just, uh, he basically is not going to sign any form that doesn't give total amnesty, and he's not going to get it from even the Democrats. And Twinkies make our hostess ready for it's a big bake sale. Yeah, well, they're going to be selling everything, Monty. Now I want you to really get on to it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's really in a good mood. <laughs> she is in a good mood, isn't she? She knows she? the computer's there, so she's in a good <laughs> I know. And, and Boehner joins a filibuster fight against the Democrats. Yeah, you know, the, the Democrats want to shut, but want to, uh, they want rule by one party only. And when you get rid of the filibuster, you can no longer have rule by, uh, you know, it's just, the filibuster is was meant to be there so that the party that was not in power could stop legislation they didn't approve of, and that basically Obama and them wants to go inside. Hunty's in a really good mood. Yeah, she wanted me on camera. And federal prisons urged to grant more early releases. Well, yeah, you know, because there's too many, there's too many of Obama's supporters that voted for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're not supposed to vote in prison. Unfortunately, all was it 13, 14,000 did vote for Obama. Oh, they did. Prisons. Yeah. And California to join Powerball Frenzy next year. Yeah, they've decided to join the Powerball because I mean, you know, a chance to get a percentage of five hundred million dollars is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And Senate backs quirk, uh, quicker withdrawal from Afghanistan. Well, yeah, because uh, it basically is the ten doves. It, it's the same pe two of the same people that continue to give money to Obama, and eight other doves that basically. We can put that money to better use in the United States types. I mean, there are liberal Republicans out there, folks, and these people are fruitcakes. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Now, this is really simple. Sometimes things are exactly as they seem to be and nothing else. <laughs>